Hey YouTube, this is Prince from Desi Programmer. Welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. And this is not going to be a usual tutorial because in this video, we are going to talk about some real life scenarios as well as some advanced topics. Now, if you are wondering what we are actually going to learn in this video, then we are going to understand first of all a post -repla replacement of the navigator. And then I'm going to talk about this overriding this back buttons. Like I will tell you how you can override this back button so that you don't just go back to the earlier screen. Or if you want to exit your app, like if you want to implement a double back button press to exit, or if you want to implement something like when you when the user presses the back button to give a warning that hey, do you actually want to exist exit or not? All these things you'll be implementing in this video. And before I move forward, I just want to tell you that it takes a lot of effort to write code that you can understand at once and to explain it so that you guys can actually do well with Flutter and anything at search. Then do appreciate if you love these things. And now let's get started. Now here you can see I have some code already like it's very simple code before you start thinking something like hey what this does let me tell you here I have this dot dot async and a main page dot dot which is this file asynchronous is something that I'm using for the timer and then we have material dot dot we have a main function that runs an app which is a my app which is a stateless visit returns a material app I have turned off the debug so checked mode banner then the title theme and home home is home page which is a state full visit and here if you see first of all we have this we are building a returning a scaffold with the background color of white and the text of splash screen at center which you can see right here font family is cursive font size is 50 and next thing that i'm saying is that you have to override the init state that's as soon as this class is created then I am calling a timer with a duration of four seconds and after four seconds are completed I am calling this function that's completed now the completed function says that hey push and create a new route like create a new screen which is the next page that I have in this file which is main page dot dot now next page again in something very exciting or in something with a lot of code here also we see that we have material dot dot uh, next page class which is a state full visit here I'm returning a scaffold with the background color of red and a center text of next screen. If I restart the application, then you will be able to see that. And here again, the font size is 50. We have Times New Roman as font family and the text aligned is a center. You can see after four seconds, this is plus screen disappears and you get this next screen. That's cool. Now let's try to understand what happens when you press this back button. What happens right now is that if you press this back button, you go back to this splash screen, which you might not want always. I mean, obviously, there is no real life application where you see a splash screen, and then when you press go back, you again go back to splash screen. No. Now, there are two methods of doing this. Most people think that you have to override this back button press, which we do in Android, obviously, but in Flutter, there are two different ways of overcoming this situation. The first one is overriding the back button, which is ideal for almost every other situation, but not of this. And the second one is using a special method of this navigator. So let me first talk about what is that special method of navigator. And then we will understand how about overriding this back button press using will pop scope. And then I will show you how you can use press this back button twice to exit the app. And also how you can show a warning when user presses this button for the first time and then if the user says yes we can exit or we can go back so let's first just get started by using the navigator that push replacement now in flutter all screens are on a stack like let's say like this is a uh, screen one then screen two screen three and so on when we push i'm saying give a screen two position of first and send the screen one to the second position so when you again pop, both are just interchanged. Now there's another method that's push replacement, which says that when we push this, send this to the bottom of the stack and don't call it ever until or unless it's called using a material route. What happens is that if I send this splash screen on the bottom of the stack, then when I try to press the back button from my home place, which is the next screen, then you won't see this splash screen. Now how to do that? So instead of calling this push, which we are doing as of now, I have to just share navigator dot of context. And then I have to say push replace replacement. Again, it takes a material route. That's okay. And material page route with the builder and the builder will take a context. And then 
all that we have to call is the next screen come on don't we have the next screen yeah we have next paste not screen that's it now if I restart the application as you can see right here then after this splash screen after four seconds when this splash screen is shown we will see now the next screen but now when you press this back button the application is closed like we are not going back to the splash screen because now this doesn't exist in the stack it's at the bottom so when i'm saying go back there's nothing so it just closes the application and this is a better way if you want to push something at the bottom usually you might want to post the login screen at the bottom of the stack once the user has logged in you might want to post this splash screen at the bottom of the stack once it's shown and something else also now how about using a different option which is not ideal for this situation of not showing the splash screen but sometimes let's say that this is a screen and when you press this back button you want this to show a warning or like hey do you exit you really want to exit or not and sometimes you are like press this back button twice to exit so let's first understand how we can show a warning and then we will see how we can use press this back button twice to exit now to make sure that you use this option this should not return a scaffold it should return a will pop scope so i'm just saying that just cut this entire code and here i'm saying return a will pop scope now will pop scope will have its all option first of all i'm giving it a child which is our scaffold that's completely okay save it and you might you might not see any changes which is completely okay now this will pop scope takes this on will pop which is a future and returns a boolean but now i'm not returning a boolean i'm just saying that print debug okay it's not print debug it's actually debug print and i'm saying that hey back button pressed now you will see magically that when I press the back button, I may have to restart the application. Come on. Okay. I have to rebuild it. So actually what happens right here and what will happen right now is that when I will press this back button, once this application is rebuilt and restarted, then you will see that it says, hey, back button pressed, which means that now this on will pop takes care of a back button press. So here we can make sure what we want to do happens in that way. Let's just wait for this application to rebuild itself. So our app is ready. It says now next screen and pay attention to this debug console. When I press this back button, it says back button pressed. Let's see again. I press the back button. It says, hey, back button is pressed. That's okay. Now let's see how we can show a warning in this on will pop so that when the user presses this back button we ask him or her that hey do you want to exit if it says yes then we have to exit if it says no then we don't exit so to do that all that i'm saying right here is that i want to return something and i want to return a so dialog okay now the so dialog first takes our context which is the context right here the build context and then it takes a builder which again takes the context and then it returns a dialog now i'm returning an alert dialog and alert dialog will have its all on option the first one that is will be a title and i'm saying the title is just warning then it will have a content and i'm saying the content is again a text and i'm asking are you sure to exit then we have accent widget which i'm saying are going to be to flat buttons and flat buttons will again have their own property the first one is on pressed which i'm not coding as of now let me first show the ui second one is child which is going to be a text and the text is going to be yes the same manner i will have another accent visit and we don't have to worry about how they are going to be placed whether in a column or in a row flutter will take care of that all that we have to do is to restart the application and let's see what happens right now all that should happen is that when you press this back button you should see a dialog box which says hey are you are you sure to exit i don't know if this is english is correct or not but anyways 
I'm pressing this back button and it says warning are you sure to exit yes or no press no nothing happens press yes nothing happens obviously on pressed is doing nothing so just press anywhere on the screen so that the dialog disappears and now let's see what this does it's actually really simple when somebody presses yes I want to go back or you can do anything that you want mostly I want to just go back or when somebody presses no I don't want to go back I mean I just want to continue so to continue there's some code and to go back there's some code let me show you the simplest one which is navigator dot of context and I'm saying pop the only difference is that I have to now pass a boolean if I say true it will go back if I say false it won't go back it will continue whatever it was trying to do so here I'm just saying false now what this means is that the app will give you a warning if you press the yes button it will go back which in this case is that it will try to go its to its back screen now since I have post it in the bottom there is nothing on the back screen so the app will just close itself and if I press on this false nothing will happen the app will continue to run let me just restart the application and let me show you the output so here this is the splash screen and now in the next screen when I press this back button it says warning are you sure to exit now there can be three different things actually four that user can do the first one is to press any of this navigation button which I don't care because that Android should be handling let's say user presses the back button nothing happened the show dialog disappears if user presses anywhere on the screen the dialog disappears does nothing application continues if the user presses no button the dialog disappears does nothing the application continues which means this part is working correctly what the user presses yes button then if this part works correctly the app should exit press yes hey the app closes itself that's amazing we have just implemented how to make sure that you show a user a warning before he or she exits which is actually amazing okay now let's try to implement how to make sure that a user presses this button twice to exit the application and which is where I want you to pay attention to this simple theoretical part. Now what most people think is that you just have to store how many times this button is pressed to exit the application. Let's say that I have a variable int of type int which is stores the number of time this is pressed. Press is once and the value becomes once so now press it twice value becomes two and it exits. Now actually this is not the case. Want to know why? Let me tell you. What if the user started this activity or this screen, presses, press the back button once and now he is continuing to do something else but after 10 minutes he just presses this back button accidentally. Now in that case this simple code will exit or will go back to this screen which we don't want. What we also care is that how fastly is this back button pressed. Like, is it pressed within a duration of 5 seconds or 3 seconds or 2 seconds then go back or exit the application if not you have to do it again which is where which is something that we're going to implement right here so again this will pop code I don't want as of now so yeah now on will pop I'm calling a function which actually should return something which is popped now let me tell you one thing let's just pay attention to this on will pop okay it says if the callback returns a future value that results to false then the root will not be popped what this means is that if I return a future value which is true then the root will automatically be popped which means I don't have to use something like navigator dot of context pop true I don't have to use that so all that I'm saying right here is that I have a function which returns a future value in boolean and the name of the function is popped and let's see what we have to do in this function so all that we have to do is to calculate the duration between the pressing of this back button twice and if the duration is between or less than some particular duration that you want mostly two or three seconds then exit else continue doing what you wanted to do so how to do that now to do that I'm using this date time now is equal to date time dot now all that all that this line says is that when this application when this function is called get the date time right now okay now there is one more value which is again date time and I'm calling this current date time of current 
now we have to say that if the value of current date time come on okay i think my spelling is wrong current which is okay right now so if the value of current is equal to null or we have another option right here or if the difference of now and this current is greater than some duration i'm saying this duration to be like uh, in seconds and two seconds i'm giving my user two seconds now when the user presses this back button after that the user has only two seconds to press this back button again to exit now if this is the case then what you have to do is to set the current to first of all now okay then i have to show a toast which will say press which should say press back again to exit and then i have to return a value so i have a comment which says so toast and then i'm saying return a value which is now don't just return true right here because that's not going to work we have to return a future value so i'm saying future dot value and the value is true cool okay now what if this is not the case what if the time has just exceeded well in that case i have to return a false that's completely okay return future not future builder future dot value and the value is false cool now let's tackle this so toast part which is the, actually this code i think you should have understood i'm using the date time library to get the time at that point like at the current point and then i'm checking if the last time the button was pressed is equal to null or if the difference between the the button presses of two times is less than two seconds then you can just do this else you have to return false okay i'm actually wrong if the duration is greater than two seconds then i have to return false that i don't want to pop but if the duration is less than two seconds then return true now let's talk about showing this toast now for that now flutter by default doesn't give us any option of showing a toast the material design alternative for the toast is a snack bar that appears at the bottom which you can use obviously feel free to do that but right now implementing that is again going to be a different part so i'm actually trying to do something better i'm even trying to introduce you to a library that can show custom toast for you now for that you have to go to this pubspec pubspec.yaml and there you have to include this line of code in the dependencies which is flutter toast with this version or greater than that and this is something that you can find from here this is a flutter toast repository on github and here you have to just add this import this line and this is how you can use a flutter dot so toast with a message toast length gravity time in second for ios background color text color font size and lot more anyway i don't care much i have to just say save this when i save this if the exit code is zero well that means that i have some successfully imported this like i have i successfully got that package now i have to say import flutter toast do i have flutter toast or not wait so i don't know why but saving the pubspec.yaml file with this dependency was not getting the packages for me directly which it always did I actually don't know why many problems happen when I'm recording a video for YouTube. But if anything else such happen with you, don't worry, just go to your terminal and type this command, which is flutter packages and get, and it will do the job. Now, after typing and running this command, I am actually able to successfully import this flutter toast dot dot package. So now if I save this, all that I have to do is to show a toast, which I'm saying flutter toast dot so toast and here, I have a message which is press back again to exit then I have a toast length which is toast length dot sort that's it I don't want to show anything else but in the else part I just have to say that if this flutter toast is still there then just cancel it 
that's it now i'm just going to rebuild this application and let me show you what happens right now so here is our app and now as expected when i press this black button once it says press back again to exit but now even if i press it again it doesn't exit because the duration should not be greater than two seconds so if i press it twice very soon then you see it exits which is what we want ain't it now if i just launch this application again back button just take a look i press the back button it says press back again to exit i press it again after some time not two seconds more than two seconds it still shows me the toast and now if i say just press this twice in a row uh, in less than duration of two seconds you see it exits and i go back to this calendar or whatsoever app that I opened earlier anyways i think that's it for this video we already talked a lot about flutter and this back button that users always press so if you want to show warning you can show if you want to make sure that you know user presses the back button again to exit you can so if you want to show an ad when the user the press button i mean you can just do whatever you want after this tutorial and i may not be posting this source code anywhere because i have edited a lot still if you badly need, need this source code do let me know and i'll try to post it somewhere like i have to write again the code i have to write the code again about that so dialogue but anyways if you need the source code badly you can do ask me but by the time here is the code just pause the video write it and make sure you let me know if you like this video because i'm going to catch you up in the next video of flutter where, where we'll be talking more about flutter many advanced topics and now everything is going to be about real world scenarios because this was a real world scenario which most of the people keep googling and keep asking that hey how do i override the back button press which you know now i'll catch you up soon till then keep coding keep learning keep loving and peace